You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Murray versus Gerald Donaldson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Harris, you have been caught in a love triangle. There are two men in court today claiming to have fathered your 18-month-old daughter, Anaya, your current boyfriend, the plaintiff, Mr. Murray, and the defendant, your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Donaldson. They are both in court today to prove paternity. So, Ms. Harris, please come join me here so we can start this case and get some paternity answers. So, Ms. Harris, now you're currently in a relationship with Mr. Murray. Yes. But both Mr. Murray and Mr. Donaldson think they are your 18-month-old daughter, Anaya's biological father. Yes. Why is that? Let's talk about these relationships. Tell me about your relationship with Mr. Donaldson. From my understanding, we was dating. But then when I got pregnant, he told me he had feelings for another girl. And he told me that he didn't want to be with me. So I was basically alone during my pregnancy. He was there during the baby shower and he came to the hospital with his mom when I had her. So, wait, you're dating Mr. Donaldson. You're in a relationship. You all are boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, we were. And so, you're boyfriend and girlfriend and you find out you're pregnant while you're in the relationship with him? Yes. And you tell him you're pregnant yes. and he accepts that you're pregnant and it's my baby? Well, he didn't believe I was pregnant. Oh, he didn't even believe you were pregnant? No. You didn't believe she was pregnant, Mr. Donaldson? Not at the beginning. You, why'd you feel like she was lying? I felt like... She was trying to ruin the relationship that I was... that I had. Oh, you feel like she was trying to hang on to you by claiming that she was pregnant because you told her you were in love with somebody else? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sure. So, did you find out you... he wanted to be in a relationship with somebody else before you got pregnant or after you got pregnant? It was after I got pregnant. So, you were already pregnant and then you found out... He tells you, I want to be with somebody else. Yes. How long did this relationship last between you and Mr. Donaldson? It was like a couple months. It wasn't that long. Just a couple months? Yes. And so you say at some point he did accept that the baby was his? I mean, he had to when he seen that my belly was big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you saying at first he didn't even believe it, so then when you, your stomach started growing... No, he brought me a pregnancy test. Oh, he did? All right. So you brought her a pregnancy test and said, prove it. Yeah. And she did. By that time, it was too late. She was, like, big. I hadn't seen her in so long. <laughs> it wasn't even no point in getting a pregnancy test. I oh, because you could tell then she is pregnant. Yeah. Okay, and did you accept at that time that you were the father of the baby? Yes, I did. You did. You acknowledged it and you accepted it? Yes, I did. Were you active in the doctor's appointments? Did you go to those? No. No. Were you there when the baby was born? Yes. You were? Yes. At the hospital? Yes. So, I want to ask your mom, did you know about this pregnancy, ma'am? I did not find out about it until she was about five months, maybe. You never knew your son was possibly the father of this child? When he told me about it, I accepted that he was because that's what Chastity stated, that he was the dad. At what point, Mr. Donaldson, did you say, Mom, I have something I have to tell you? I didn't even tell her, honestly. I told my father, and my father told her. <laughs> that works, too, when you're scared to tell mom. <laughs> so, you tell your dad, your dad tells your mom, and mom, at what point do you actually meet Miss Harris? Because well, you don't even know her at this point. I had met her one time before, and then the second time was at the baby shower. And you were there as the grandmother, the paternal grandmother? Yes. Did you have any doubts or any reason to believe that someone else could be the child's biological father at that time? No. So, after the baby's born, Mr. Donaldson, do you develop a relationship with Anaya? Yes, we did, but she stayed so far away from me to, like, I couldn't see her as much as I wanted to. So, you know, we tried to make something happen, tried to make it work. It just didn't. And so, how many times have you seen Anaya? She's 18 months. How many times have you been to see her? I've seen her quite a few times. You've seen her a lot of times yeah. now. Yeah. And your family has accepted the baby? 
Yes, we, we accept her. But when all of this started, we kind of just backed away from the whole situation because it was getting a little messy. So at what point do you start having doubts that Anaya is your grandchild? The thing that really changed my mind is when my mother went to pick the baby up and saw Fred. Oh. So, Mr. Murray, why do you believe you could be the biological father of this child? One day I was on Facebook and I got a message mm -hmm. from uh, Jalen and he told me that the baby could possibly be mine. So and you get a message from Mr. Donaldson? Yeah. Telling you that the baby could possibly be yours? Yeah, I need to get a DNA test. You sent him that message, <clears throat> Mr. Donaldson? I don't recall. I'm not gonna say yes, I'm not gonna say no. I don't recall. <laughs> <clears throat> and wait, what, you just saw a message on your account. And what did you say when you got that? I said, uh, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> then I had to ask her how she was feeling about it because I was going around her family and they was telling me that she looked just like me. So as you started going around and meeting her family, they started telling you that the baby looks just like you. Exactly like me. So you did sleep with Mr. Murray. Yes. While you were in the relationship with Mr. Donaldson. Yes. Okay. Let me try to understand all this. Mr. Murray, what do you remember? She was in a relationship with Mr. Donaldson at right. the time. But you all ended up having a sexual encounter during that time? Yes. But you say you used protection. You say you did not. Okay, that's how we get a paternity issue. So, Ms. Harris, why are you so convinced that Mr. Donaldson is the father if you admittedly had sex with Mr. Murray during the time you were also having a relationship with Mr. Donaldson? Because during that time, he used protection. And from the time that he's talking about he could be her father is from a time in December. Oh, you're saying the time that you had sex without protection was in December. Yes. It wasn't during the window of conception. No. All right. So you submitted these dates to the court. You said your doctor told you your date of conception was around February the 10th. Is that correct? Yes. Anaya was born on October 21st. Yes. Do you remember when you were intimate with Mr. Donaldson? The beginning of January, the beginning of February and the end of February, and then we stopped. So the beginning of January, around here, the beginning of February with Mr. Donaldson? Yes. Okay. You said the end of February too? Yes, I did. All right, so the end of February. When were you intimate with Mr. Murray? It was like in the middle of February, but he used protection. So you were intimate with Mr. Murray around this time, but you say you used protection. But Mr. Murray, you say you did not use protection. We had a situation December 14th. What's a situation? A threesome. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, my gosh. I didn't expect you to say that. Okay, so, wait, wait, that's December. And you didn't use protection during that? I don't know what y'all out here doing. We know young people, we know you're gonna be young, but this, this is, this is, uh, this is a lot, this is too much. The threesome's bad enough. Unprotected is just outrageous, insane, unacceptable. So, Ms. Weaver, did you know your son was out here having threesomes unprotected and also potentially getting Miss Harris pregnant? Did you have any idea what was going on? I found out after the threesome happened. After the threesome? Yes. And then, like, around, I want to say, March or April, we found out that Chastity was pregnant. Do you immediately say to your son, are you the father of this baby? Yes, I did. And, and he told me say? no because Chastity told him no. And then I went to Chastity and I asked her. You did? Yes. And what did she say? She said that no, it wasn't. So you told Ms. Weaver that the baby was not Mr. Murray's. You told her that? Yeah. That was because of the date of conception that the doctor told her. So you were basing that off what the doctor told you? Yes. But now you all know that even with protection, we know that it's not 100% certain, but you just felt like, based upon your experience, Mr. Donaldson, I really believe you're the father. And you told Mr. Murray, you're not. Yes. Okay. 
So now, Anaya's 18 months old. Who's in her life as father? Who does she bond with as father? Mr. Murray. Mr. Murray. She, she looks to him like he's her father because he'd been there. He'd been there ever since she was three months. And so, what, what was it that made you decide to be a part of the baby's life, Mr. Murray? At that point in time, she was in, like, a down position. So, I just took, took her and her in. Like, I take care of both of you. Do you... Do you still take... Anaya to see Mr. Donaldson and his mother as well? He's moved out of state, so... Mr. Donaldson moved out of state? Yes, that's what he told me. Did you, Mr. Donaldson? Yes, I did. Okay. Like, we both was liking other people, I guess. I don't know. It was just too much going on, too much drama. It started to be dramatic? Uh After I had Anaya, he wanted us to be together. Oh, after you had the baby, then he wanted to be a a family? Yeah. But then, by that time, you were already with Mr. Murray? Yes. But you maintain that he's the biological father of the child? Yes. But Anaya looks just like Fred. You believe Anaya looks like your grandchild, like your son's baby? Right. And that's a picture of Mr. Murray on the left and Anaya on the right. Why are you smiling like that, Mr. Donaldson? Because that's a real... They do look alike. (laughs) Like that, that, you can't even lie. They look alike. But also submitted to the court was a baby picture of Mr. Donaldson. It's hard to tell. Right, it's definitely hard to tell. So now, as you look at that picture, Ms. Weaver, you even say it's hard to tell just... just with physical characteristics. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Ms. Weaver, have you developed a relationship with Anaya? Oh, yes. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. I'm Mima. That's my grandbaby. And so, you spend a lot of time with her? Yes, I do. I'm with her almost every other day. So, Mr. Donaldson, are you hoping she's your daughter? Yeah, I guess you can say that. When you say, I guess you can say that, what are you feeling? I mean, it's like I've been missing so much of her life. I mean, I don't know how much I'm supposed to do right now or how I'm supposed to really feel. That's a fair statement. So... At your age, I get that. I think it's time for the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Murray versus Gerald Donaldson, when it comes to 18-month-old Anaya Harris, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Gerald Donaldson, you are not the father. Ms. Harris, is there anything else you need to say in court before we go to the next result? I want to give you the opportunity. I know, honey. Hold your head up, baby girl. Yep. It's gonna be okay. (laughs) All right. Are you ready for me to read the result? Okay. In the case of Murray versus Gerald Donaldson, when it comes to 18-month-old Anaya Harris, It has been determined by this court. Mr. Murray, you are not the father. That's okay. That's still your baby. I can't sit here no more. (laughs) Miss Harris. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. I got it. It's okay. We got you. I'm not going to be on the camera no more, no. Okay. This is a very tough result for Ms. Harris. And as I said earlier, some of the adult activities you engage in, they have real-life consequences. Real-life consequences. She is with Dr. Jeff now. 
and Mr. Murray and his family have said they will stick by her. They are with her now, and we're going to make sure she gets the help she needs, okay? So I want you to take care of yourself, and Mr. Donaldson, I hope this is a lesson learned for you as well. I loved when you said, when you found out you had potentially gotten a girl pregnant, when you said, I told my dad. It just touched me because it made me even realize further, I don't, you know, Jerome, we don't hear that a lot. I told my dad, we operate this, our landscape in this courtroom, we're, we're helping people find their dads. So when we meet young people, especially like you, when you have your dad and you have it, something that you're worried about and maybe I don't know how to tell mom, but I can go to my dad, that's what we're trying to give this baby. That's what we're trying to do every day. So I want you to, I want you to learn the lesson here, but also know how blessed you are to have your father. And I appreciate you coming here so that this beautiful little girl could have the opportunity of one day finding hers. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. Thank you.